come from Singapore, where we also have a DIY bio group, which started back in 2010, but then we somehow degenerated into some food hacking group, and now back in now in 2013, we are back into the mainstream of this do-it-yourself biology movement, and we are trying to work on this idea of how you can build this type of open hardware tools for scientists, for people interested for citizen science. That means amateurs like I am, and allow and you know allow people to do science. As and I was very sympathetic to the call before. Allow people to understand science, so they're not afraid, but also they don't let big companies like Monsanto or some other evil corporation take over all the research and development in this field. Right now, I'm an <coughs> academic. I teach at National University of Singapore. And my interest is how we can build basic infrastructure to support science in the global south, in developing countries. That's why I hang out with Andreas and the people in Indonesia, which uh, actually are doing this type of projects ever since the late 90s. And only in 2010, when I visited Boston for the first time, and I saw the emerging DIY bio movement in the state, I finally understood what you guys in Indonesia were doing all the time. So uh, this idea of citizen science, which con connects like university research with some communities, <coughs> with local scientists and designers, was uh, very much like that. Actually, no, there's a different file. Yeah, the open up the office. So what I will show now is just a few examples of uh, such prototypes that uh, I'm interested in, because I recently became also uh, collector. So I'm a member of some communities. First of all, Hecteria, which is open, uh, open source biology community. I'm also a member of a hackerspace in Prague, in Czech Republic, where I'm originally from. And I'm a supporter of Hackademia. And we have somewhere William here from Singapore, who is the main Hackademia guy, which is this like hard, hackerspace type of workshops for kids. Anyway, my interest, very shortly, is basically open science advocacy, citizen science advocacy how to support research and develop in the global south. Also, I'm curious about how open hardware can help traditional crafts. And um, this, this is my collection I'm building. This is like a mobile genetic lab where there are tools which uh, Shingo just showed, like an open PCB um, tool. This is made by my friend, friends from Victoria in Switzerland. We are showing it now around the world. This is another tool, it's a genetic, uh, gene gun it's called, which basically allows you to do this type of DIY synthetic, uh, like modify a DNA of a plant in a mechanical way rather than chemical way. I will not go into, into the details just to show you some funny prototypes. This is something that Hecteria is working with the guys in Indonesia. It's a turbidity sensor which allows you to do some simple experiments with, with water and uh, liquids. Anyway, uh, the reason I'm presenting today, because I will be more part of that Monday workshop, is basically to invite all of you to join a project which we are just starting, I was last week in Netherlands at the DIY Bio Lab at the VAP Society, which is this amazing place. I'll just show some pictures. This is Peter, who, I'm, who, is a, who started basically the project and I'm joining. The VAP is an interesting space because the first anatomical theater happened there. So I somehow think it's symbolic that our global DIY bio project will start there. And it is an idea that we can engage in open drug discovery. Basically, we can uh, take part in creating new medicine. And because the biggest enemy right now is Big Pharma or Big Monsanto and so on. So the idea is that um, basically we can crowdsource a research in antibiotics because this is like one of the typical things that pharma industry is not so interested to develop, you know, to constantly bring innovation because it wouldn't pay off the, um, uh, to do that. So, um, and the research is not that complicated. It's, it's a rather simple protocol where you work with the soil bacteria, which is very common. It's everywhere around the world and it's able to produce basically uh, antibiotics. So I'll just show some idea how we want to do that. So we basically want to crowdsource so soil samples, dilute the soil, then grow them on the other place, identify these right ones, actinomycetes and some other soil bacteria, and then screen them for antibiotics. How do you do that? 
when you recognize the right one, which is the white guys on this plate, but they look differently, then you basically put them on another plate where you have some form of a microbe, not a dangerous one, please. We are still not certain which one we want to use. We are thinking to use this one, uh, Micrococcus luteus, but we are already getting feedback from the community. Maybe it's not the best idea for uh, all kinds of reasons. And this is the important part where I come into play because I teach interactive media design and I'm interested in how can we gamify, how we can create a game around this experience with other plates. I'm very happy all these bacteria interests here, guys. I hope you join us and help us. The idea is basically that the zone of inhibition where the antibiotics eat the evil bacteria can show how, how strong is the given, uh, given bacteria. And basically, you're thinking to create something like collection of such zones, like, you know, Pokemon style, or to even organize some form of tournaments. So um, that is where the project is now. This is all we have. Some funny pictures. And this is my last slide, why I'm interested in it. I do research on hackerspaces, DIY bio communities, because I'm interested in how the public, how citizens can take part in research and development. So not only communicate science, understand science, but really be part of it and part of the policy process. So I'm interested in these communities that are built around prototypes. And it would be wonderful that we do this DIY bio project in open drug discovery of antibiotics as a global community where people share this protocol and they look into the plate, share pictures of the plate, and we identify new strains of antibiotics, which is much easier than you would think. That's all. <laughs>